on a cold December day, I received a phone call from Professor Slade in the religion department. Oi! A new product was released called Transcript. Transcript simply is an extension in your browser, and students pay a very small fee of $5 a month, and it will answer test questions for students that are in Blackboard. This poses problems for us, especially if we offer our tests online in Blackboard. In this video, we will provide different options to help deter the use of such software like Transcript that is embedded in their browser. Then, of course, nothing is foolproof, but if we use many of these tactics, a bunch of these tactics, we can help detour cheating on our exams. There are many things you can design in your tests and exams to help deter cheating. First off, here is an exam. This exam utilizes a test pool. Students are required for this test to take 50 questions, and the 50 questions are random out of a test pool of 112 questions. Even if students are sitting next to each other, they will have a different set of questions than their peers. Ensuring that it randomizes the answers, randomizes the questions, you can turn off backtracking so they can't search through the test. You can randomize pages. So randomizing, creating test pools, giving a time limit is huge. So they wouldn't have time to like pull out their phone and use the app version of something like transcript or look around on their phone or ask their friends that they may be sitting with. So these are the first measures I would take is question pool, randomize questions, randomize answers, uh, even prohibit backtracking and add a time limit so they don't have time to search the internet. Another option would be to use a lockdown browser. We use Respondus. So if you go to course tools and scroll all the way down, Respondus lockdown browser. Here you can see there's the list of exams in this class. So you can easily go to the quiz, go to settings, you can require lockdown browser, and then that opens up more options for that specific test. You can go above and beyond a lockdown browser and require monitoring or allow live proctoring. These are all different options. And that opens more opportunities for you to choose different options. Uh, Ashland University has access to all of these, but the easiest low hanging fruit is using the lockdown browser. Respondus also, uh, just embedded in Blackboard, provides a getting started, gives you helpful tips. Uh, it asks to do a practice quiz first so students know how to use it before doing a more high stakes exam. Provides video tutorials and then guides and support. So all the tools that you need are baked into Blackboard already if you go to tools on the side. And the same thing like Blackboard Ultra, uh, but here you can do it from the test side of things. Just enable lockdown browser and it brings you to that same page. The past year has been an absolute whirlwind with artificial intelligence and there are many tools that will help students in completing their work. We know the future lies in their ability to use artificial intelligence, but artificial intelligence also opens the opportunity for academic dishonesty. As we see with transcript, it answers students' questions, but it's not the only tool that they have. And lockdown browsers aren't the only tool that we have to detour from using something like transcript. So in the end, we need to create great assessments that they can't cheat on. So we must be creative. Come to LearnAU, visit LearnAU, send us an email, and we can help you create creative assignments to help meet those course outcomes and maybe minimize a little bit of that fear that we have and students using artificial intelligence to answer all their questions. <laughs>